teach you simple math tricks with number five. Uh, let's start with the even number math trick. An uh, even number is a number that you can divide by two. Like two divided by two is one. Four divided by two is two. Eight divided by two is four, like that. Let's begin with this. 248 times five. Wow, that is very hard, but we have a simple math trick to make it easier. We just have to divide this two by two. Two divided by two is one. And four divided by two is two. Eight divided by two is four. Now you're thinking, but this number is smaller than that number. Yes, that is true. But in the table of five, every even number times five ends with a zero. So like two times five is 10, ends with a zero. Four times five is 20. So that all ends with a zero. So this one also, we just have to do a zero. And that's your answer. Now let's step here. We can just do it with two digits to make it easier. 26 times five is, oh no, that's hard again. Come on, let's do the same trick. Two divided by two is one. Six divided by two is three. And at last, zero. Now you're gonna guess this. I'll give you 10 seconds. Four divided by two is two. Eight divided by two is four. And at last, a zero. Check your answers, maybe it's good. This will do with three digit numbers. It's actually the same. You can do it as big a number as you want. Four, four divided by two is two. Eight divided by two is four. And six divided by two is three. And at last we add the zero. Do you wanna guess this? Take a note and pen, try it out. I'm gonna tell you the answer after 10 seconds. First, let's do this again. Six turns into three because six divided by two is three. Eight divided by two is four. And two divided by two is one. Four divided by two is two. And again, four divided by two is two. And two divided by two is one. And now we end always with a zero. That's your answer. Let's go to odd numbers. Let's do the same with odd numbers. We need to do 531 times five. We cannot split up odd numbers just like even numbers. So that's why we need to take its closest number. Five has the closest number, four. Four we can divide to two. We have remaining one from the five and that one will turn into a 10. And that 10 plus three is 13. 13 divided by two is six. And the remaining one we turn again into a 10. One plus 10 is 11. 11 we cannot divide, so let's take its closest number, 10. 
10 divided by 2 is 5. From there, we also have 1 over. But this time, we will not write down 10. We have no numbers more. And at 1 times 5 is, of course, 5. That's the answer. We'll do 37 times 5. 3 divided by 2. That is 1 remaining 1. So let's write 1 here and this 1 will turn into a 10. 10 plus 7 is 17. 17 divided by 2 is 8. We still have 1 over that 1 will turn into 5. The 5 and bingo! Here's our answer. This question is a guess question. Take a note and paper and try to figure it out. I'll wait 10 seconds. I'm going to tell you the answer. Let's do it again. 5 divided by 2 is 2 remaining 1. And we still have 1 over. That will turn into a 10 again. 10 plus 9 is 19. 19 divided by 2 is 9. 9 remaining 1. What do we do with the 1 again? We make a 5 of it. And now we've got our answer. Let's try it with 3 digits. The same thing. 7 divided by 2 is 3 remaining 1. This one will turn into a 10, and 10 plus 5 is 15. 15 divided by 2 is 7. Rest 1. And that 1 again, we turn into a 10. 10 plus 3 is 13. 13 divided by 2 is 6. Rest one. And that one again, we cannot turn it to ten, but we turn it into a five. So let's try it with four digits. Five divided by two is two, remaining one. That one will turn into ten for three. Ten plus three is thirteen. Thirteen divided by two is six remaining one. And that one we turn into a 10. 10 plus seven is 17. 17 divided by two is eight remaining one. We still have one over that we turn into 10 for three. 10 plus 3 is 13, divided by 2 is 6, remaining 1. And that 1, we cannot turn into 10 again, but we turn it into a 5. I'm going to give you 10 seconds to answer this. At the end, I'll tell you what the answer is. Now I'm going to tell you the answer. 2, 7, 8, 6, 9, 5, 5. This is the answer. Check it, please. Now let's do it with even number and odd number. We, can, we just need to do the same thing. 2 divided by 2 is 1. 
five divided by two is two, remaining one. Again, we put the extra one as a 10 to a six. 10 plus six is 16. 16 divided by two is eight. And since the last number is six, this number becomes an even number. So we just have to put a zero down. Now let's go to the next one. 981 times five is nine divided by two is four remaining one. That one we give to 80, to eight, to turn it to 10, and now that is 18. 18 divided by two is nine. One divided by two is zero remaining one. And then we turn it into five and we've got our answer. This is a guess question. Try to guess it. I'll give you 10 seconds. I'm going to tell you the answer. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 7 divided by 2 is 3, remaining 1. That's 1 we have remaining will turn into a 5. And here's our answer. This is also a guess question. I'll give you 10 seconds. tell you the answer. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 3 divided by 2 is 1. Remaining 1. That 1 will turn into 10 to 8. And 10 plus 8 is 18. 18 divided by 2 is 9. And of course it ends with the 8. So it'll become that there is here, a zero. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye! Do not off this video. I'm not done yet. I have some work sums for you. So first we begin with odd numbers. And then we go to even numbers. And here at last, we do both. Please write the answers down in the comments. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye!